Hey everybody, it's Sean here from Chickory's Travels and I'm excited today because I received something I have been waiting for for a long time and that is the VE Bus Smart Dongle from Victron. And what this does is two things. One, it allows you to interface with your inverter charger through Bluetooth, through the Victron Connect app. The second thing it does is allows for remote temperature and voltage sensing capabilities on your battery. So it's a huge step for um, those of us Victron users because we've always enjoyed having the uh, Victron Connect for the battery monitor and for the solar charge controller, but now we have one for the inverters. What's included in the box is the dongle itself, and then you have a red wire, positive battery wire with an inline fuse, and then a black negative wire. And it also comes with some mounting screws if you can't mount it directly on the battery. Also, if you can't mount it on the battery, you'll need to get a different red wire that will allow for the temperature sensing if that would normally be done through the dongle if you mount it directly on the battery which is how we're gonna do. So installation is pretty simple. The first thing you're gonna do is connect the red wire to the B plus. Uh, you can see these, there's a B plus and a B minus. You wanna connect the red wire to the B plus. And then you wanna connect the black wire into the B minus port on the dongle. Then we're gonna to have to go inside the battery compartment here and connect the red to the positive and the black to the negative. So we'll do that real quick. Okay, now we've got the wires connected to the positive and negative sides of the battery. And now to get the temperature sensing capability, we have to mount the dongle on or near the battery. And we're just gonna go ahead and mount it on one of our batteries. Um, so that way we know it's there and it's gonna be getting the most accurate temperature readings. It just has a simple peel and st stick adhesive. So peel this off and we have it mounted on the back battery there. The last thing to do is run the RJ45 from the inverter charger and connect it to the dongle. Okay, so now we have everything connected. Let's go inside, check out the app and see what we have. Okay, so here we are on my computer and as you can see right here, we know we did something right because the inverter charger is now showing up in my Victron Connect app. And I will tell you that I did have to do a firmware upgrade for the inverter before this would start working. Um, I'm not gonna show that because it was a lot of steps and if you mess one up, you could mess up your inverter. So it's better to get um, professional help on that when you're going to install um, a firmware upgrade to make sure you do everything correct and not mess up your inverter or any other part of your system. So let's click on this and we're connecting to it via Bluetooth. Okay, so here's the main screen here in the uh, Victron Connect app and I just have my inverter on right now. In a minute I'll turn on the um, the charger part and so we can see that but the inverter it's um, showing right here and it shows the batteries are at 13.14 volts and right now they're pulling 13.414 amps out of them and the temperature is 13 degrees Celsius which is around 55 and a half degrees Fahrenheit over here it tells you the state it's inverting um, so there's no AC input stuff. Um, the AC output, it's showing that it's um, all working here. Everything is showing up like it should. And then from the batteries, it's also showing the battery data.
if you click on the little wheel up at the top it will show you your mode and you can switch it so you can see the charger only portion the inverter only portion or you can turn it off also down here you have your AC input one current limit and you can adjust that depending on you may be hooked up to only 30 amps so you want to turn this down to 30 amps you may be running off of a generator that has a certain amount of amps that that you'll want to put in so the you can adjust it right from here another way to adjust it is to click here and you can select from these current inputs or you can modify it like we did in the other screen so now I'll go flip on the charger part and we'll see what changes there okay so we're back in it and I've turned the charger portion of the inverter charger on and as you can see right now it's showing the ACN is putting in a little over 2200 watts and the batteries are in bulk charge and then over here you see the voltage um, the power the current and the frequency are all showing up for the input so this is a pretty cool um, app it allows you to see a lot of the functionality of your inverter charger without going to a set panel you can be anywhere in Bluetooth range and be able to pull it up and get a quick look at what's going on with your inverter charger so I really think this was a good move on Victron's part and really awesome to have all this Bluetooth capability with the Victron products the installation took me about an hour and a half with the firmware upgrade so that was not too bad and if I didn't have to do the firmware upgrade it would have been probably less than 30 minutes to get everything up and running one thing to remember when you're putting new cables on your batteries is to make sure that everything is screwed down tight so you're not losing anything with loose connections and possibly causing damage to your batteries or your cables so make sure those are all tight it's good to check also um, when you arrive somewhere and when you're right before you leave to go somewhere just to make sure everything's nice and tight the dongle costs about 80 bucks and for me it's worth it because of the Bluetooth functionality and like I said you can see everything right from your computer or your cell phone I do think that Battleborn batteries are carrying this product so you can uh, give them a call and see if they have any in stock and you can order them they have great customer service and they're very helpful if you run into problems down the road I hope you enjoyed this video and until we see you on the road safe travels